just a little bit. Cam standing by with today's Manly Minute with how you can pull one off. Yeah. Everyone wants to be John Cusack with a boom box out in front of the window. Everybody wants to try to do that. Everybody wants to be Richard <laughs> Gere and come through and, and swoop up old uh, Deborah Winger and carry up for best. love, lift you up where you belong. Best. Everybody wants to do that. It's hard, player. <laughs> it's hard. So what you have to do, and this comes from uh, a panel of women who are saying, hey, if you want to pull off the, the grand romantic gesture on some things that are kind of like simple scenarios, here's how you do it. So here are some quick do's and don'ts on four simple everyday scenarios that will come across and you have a chance to show off if you do it the right way. Here we go. All right. Say it's her birthday, all right? Perfect time for a grand romantic gesture. All right, first I will give you the do. They say yes, do call a restaurant. Make reservations, all right? Bring flowers. Go and call them and tell them, hey, can you bring over a piece of cake with a candle in it at about 8.35 and we'll be good to go. That's fantastic, she would love that. Do not send her on an extravagant, a long scavenger hunt, which takes her all around town, which sounds like a great idea and probably worked for somebody about four years ago and they posted on social media and it was like, oh, that's so romantic. No, it's not because it takes too long and she's gonna get bored with that after about 35, 45 minutes. So don't do that. That's a grand romantic gesture that does not work. Just call the place, get dinner set up, have a cake come over with a candle, you're good, you're done. Number two, let's say she's sick. Oh, she needs you now, right? Okay, but think about this, do, Maybe have someone send over DVDs, maybe gift her with something as far as like iTunes in, the, in her email account, something that she can use because she's going to be home sick. Do not, I repeat, do not just show up with soup at the front door yeah, of the no, house. Don't do that. Mm -mm. You I can't do that. that. Now that sounds like a great grand romantic gesture you see in the movies. Oh, you should have. Nope, don't do that. She did <laughs> no. not want you to come over. And when she's sick, she does not want you to see her. I look terrible like Right? This. Don't do that. You just made a huge mistake. Number three scenario. Okay, now you're in the doghouse. You have not sent a text in two weeks. That's the face she's got. Every time she think about you. <laughs> How are you gonna get out of that? Okay, here's what they say. What you should do is take everything that you were gonna write in the text, put it in a card, and deliver that with flowers oh. instead. Do not send the text, all right? They also say, <laughs> and I guess men have done this, they say don't panic, propose. <laughs> so I guess after two weeks, a bunch of men have been like, hey, hey, baby, I, I didn't mean to ghost you for two weeks. Uh, let's get married. I'm like, what? That's Don't way too far. Propose. And here's the last scenario. We'll quickly get out of here. Here it gets worse. She saw you with another woman. Oh, child. Hey, player, I got you on this one, okay? First thing you do, she saw you with another woman. You're at a party or a bar or something like that. If you are at the bar or a restaurant, you discreetly pay the bill for her and her friends. But don't let them know you did that. Discreetly oh, pay the bill. That's good. What you do not do <laughs> is try to tell her later on that that was a business dinner. Don't do that. Or that was just a friend. Yeah. Because she can see. Look at her. She can see. She can see that's not just a friend. You're more than just a friend. So these are four scenarios in which the grand romantic gesture of trying to get yourself out of trouble can work, but you have to do it the right way. Just go ahead and pay for that bill. And Worry about the damage later on. That's four scenarios, man. You could be like John Cusack if you play your cards, right? There's so many more scenarios that you can take a look at. Go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on show info for today's date. Man up for getting your John Cusack on the right way, not getting punched in the throat. Good day continues after this.